Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Arc Twilight of Spirits. We are about to enter the Mountain Stronghold. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I hadn't actually tried this door before, so... It would have been funny if that wasn't the way, but then again... Where else would have been? Would it have been? So looks... yep. Shiny means oper operable. Um, yeah. I have to enter a password. Okay. And something triggers here. Hey! Hmm, big surprise. D what? Okay, I mean... That just makes no sense. <laughs> Where did those guys down there come from? Surrounded! Oh no! This is where your luck runs out! Or is it? You won't get any further than this. Eh, uh, that's what you think. You'll never stop us. And we're going to kill more Dillsweld soldiers. This is really more a slaughter than anything else. <clears throat> okay, we have one destructible box, a few barrels, a barrel. Okay. That should be fine. I'm going to leave that box for. Um, oh, 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 there we go. Gonna leave that box for uh, Gans to blow up, or break open. Seems to be pretty good at that. And obviously I'm gonna try and finish off the commander, or whatever. What's it called? Well, commander, well. Oh. Correct by coincidence. One shot? Okay. And there is stuff inside. Good call then. I guess we could have technically still countered that one, right? But of course, Maru has the lowest counter rate of all of us. Oh, but she counters that one. It's easy to miss, to to underestimate her her range. <clears throat> Wait, what that didn't turn in place? Hmm. And why are you choosing to shoot instead of just attacking? Uh, maybe it deals more damage. Uh, why don't you go ahead and... Oh, I didn't think this was going to work. But it did. Okay, and that barrel also didn't blow up. Yeah, I continue to be unable to tell when those things are, are going to blow up and when they aren't. Okay, also we might... I might have to actually start looking out for my points. Uh, I mean, no one's in in the yellow yet, so I guess we're good. Uh, why don't you go ahead and attack both these guys? Finishing one of them off. Sweet. Then you can grab the stuff. Fireproof gloves. Okay. I mean, if that really only gives fire defense, fire yeah, resistance. Probably not interested. But it's always nice to find a unique item. I really hope I didn't miss anything too good from that from that junk heap last episode. Oh well. Should probably go ahead and employ some AoE attacks here to get done with these guys a bit faster. Pretty much the perfect opportunity. Or we could just, you know, keep counter-attacking. Right, we also still want to finish this guy off before the rest of his men. 
Uh, I mean, Maru could use some kind of range attack. This guy is 34. I kind of want to finish him off with a super attack, though. Yeah, if he kills him, he kills him. And he doesn't. Well, so much for that. I mean, not that it makes any kind of difference. Although it, it might make a difference. I don't know. Maybe using combo attacks gives more experience. Sapphire coating? Okay. That might actually be an upgrade for her. Okay, you know what I'm going to do here? A bit of an overkill, maybe. But I do want to see how good this is. I could also actually stand here and probably hit almost all of them. Maybe even all of them. If I stand here. That... Oh, oh. Okay, that only... That's not what I thought it was. Never mind then. But Speedstorm does actually hit most of these guys. Let's finish on the, on the ones over here. Uh, wait, what? There we go. Okay, not bad. Wow. <laughs> I mean, far from bad. Now we have to make sure to actually collect all that stuff. That's gonna be counter. Ooh, and a crit. Getting dicey. That's too far away for a counter. Thankfully, Colette can run pretty far. Why don't you go ahead and finish that guy up? Gowns. But he takes a counter it anyway. GG. Okay. Yeah. Not so smug anymore, huh? Come on out with it. Tell us where the Firestone is. Uh, all I know is that it's somewhere in the volcano. That's it? So you haven't managed to get a hold of it yet, either. Not yet. There are Deimos in the volcano. A La Kelta, then. La Kelta? I don't think I've come across those yet. Likes of you will never get past that. <laughs> I mean, if you were planning to get past it and I easily got past you, I guess that gives me. that makes my chances pretty good. How do you get into the volcano? There's an elevator inside that goes down into the volcano. If you want to be killed by the Deimos, be my guest. That's why no one's managed to get a hold of the Firestone yet, because of the Deimos. Guess so. Uh, Zev, what the heck? Hey, Kark, still here? Zev, what are you doing in a place like this? I know where the Firestone is. I mean, yeah, in the volcano? Really? Yeah, I've been through all the legends about the stone, and I finally found a lead. It's near the crater. <laughs> I mean, big surprise. Apparently, there's a shrine around there, built by people in ancient times. The Firestone Shrine? According to legend, this mountain used to be just an ordinary coal mine. But it's said that as soon as the Firestone was enshrined, the volcano came to life. You came all this way just to tell us that? Of course not. The volcano looks like it's going to erupt before long. So I came to tell you to get a move on. Erupt? I've seen volcanoes all over the world. I can tell when they're going to erupt. The smoke, the heat, the clouds, the smell of the smell on the wind. There's no mistake. Also, you know, the rumbling. See, that's a definite sign. I mean, did we did we really need him to tell us all that? If there's a shrine, we would have found it, you know, and no one needed to tell us to hurry up. This is bad. We've got to hurry. <laughs> Thanks, Ev. I guess. Ah, no need to thank me. But if you manage to get the Firestone, let me take a look at it. No problem. 
And if you find any unusual treasure, maybe you could share it with me. <laughs> okay. And also, any items you can get off the Deimos. You don't want mu <laughs> You don't want much, do you? Okay, okay. Well, take care. <sighs> right, we better hurry. So what about this guy? I'm just gonna leave him here. He's out cold, if you say so. Still takes a password. I mean, it looks like there's gonna be an elevator here, or there is an elevator here. Which might be our way out of here eventually. Um, right, equipment. I did find this sapphire coating. Should be better than amethyst. Yep. Anyone else here? I mean, he could use it. She has higher attack anyway. So maybe I'm gonna give him a bit more oomph. As it were. So this is the elevator I'm supposed to take, huh? Maybe it's inoperable, as indicated by the red light. Oh, or maybe there is nothing here. Well then. Okay. Sure. Oh, what now? The Dillswell flagship. Whose name I forgot. Seen that guy before? Hmm. Three left, eh? <laughs> the five great spirit stones will soon be mine. Sure, buddy. This is where playtime ends. No one can stop my ambitions. Well, we'll sure as hell try. I have a report. Hm. The mountain stronghold has fallen into the hands of the resistance. What about the giant cannons? It seems they were destroyed by the enemy's airship. Weren't all the airships in Apistia destroyed? According to the report, the airship resembles the one used when Lilia escaped. So those rats who helped you escape, who helped you escape, are back. Hmm. Hmm. No matter. After all, Epistia is no more than a pawn in a much larger game. What happens to the mountain stronghold is of no consequence. Really? Digging another route into the volcano is what really matters. Because at last, I have some information on the whereabouts of the Firestone. Get to work, sir. In touch with Tatiana. I must tell her about the Firestone Shrine. And that those rats from Nidalia are inside the volcano. <laughs> I don't know what what's so funny about that, but alright. Go ahead and send Tatiana after us. Hey, I spot a safe point. That's always nice. Isn't this lava magma, I guess it looks Surprisingly good. I mean, I guess it looks okay. Wow, it's hot! This place is terrible! Really? I mean, you are you look like you're from some kind of jungle, isn't it? Isn't it hot there? Sure, it's, you know... Minus the humidity here, I guess. Maru, be careful! If any lava falls on us, we won't stand a chance. Or, you know, if we fall into lava. Uh, okay. But I can't believe this place used to be a coal mine. The power of that Firestone sure is amazing. Zev was right. It's probably going to erupt before long. And it smells absolutely terrible. I can't believe the Deimos can stand to live here. Right. The... What are they, what are they called? Hmm. Ah, another earthquake! Oh no! We've got no time to lose. We have to get uh, to the crater and find the shrine. Indeed. Actually, healing is required. So, that did actually fill us all up. Nice. And we will fill in spirit stones. Hmm. 
Hmm. Why do I want to be down here? Actually, I can't even go any further than that. Well. Oh, hey. Pressure chest. Uh, okay. Lots of gold. Lots of spirit stones, actually. That brings us to fall again. Red charm. Assuming that a red charm is... A fire resistant thing. Yes. So what is... What are the gloves? Huh. Wait. Are they character specific? Weapon part... Nope. Accessory? Oh. Okay, that's also just for her. Complete protection against fire damage. Hmm. I mean... I guess that it might even be worth using in a place like this. Maybe. Uh, equipment. Accessory. Stone holder. And... Crystal beads. It does reduce her mental by five. But increases lots of things, actually. Guard goes down. Uh, goes up. Defense goes way up and makes her completely immune to fire. I mean, sure, that's too good not to use. I guess I could technically also live without the stone holder. Maybe. Okay, spirit stones, life tree berry, and super bombs. Life tree berry, that's what I thought. As usual, I'm going to use that on my main character, I think. Although I could try and make Maru a bit more survivable. I do like using him. Mm. But of course, I don't know what other characters I might end up recruiting. I don't know, I'm just gonna go with Hart. Uh, that was like 20 HP. Uh, no, no, I want. Okay, I was gonna say. I'm kind of missing enemies here. But there we go. Defeat every last Deimos. I mean, in this room. So there are some kind of fire lizard types. Not a big surprise. Oh, also. Other enemies. Final Fantasy bombs? No. Elementals, okay. A Kelta. And Red Dragons. So. Red barrels, I mean, or a red barrel. This one looks like it's gonna explode. Yeah, gunpowder can. That's pretty obvious. All right. I guess let's try and blow that up. Although it typically takes more than a few shots. Oh wow! Except that one just blew up immediately. I guess we hadn't really seen gunpowder tags before. Um, sure. You go ahead and. Kill the first Lakelta, except you don't. Well then. Okay. Please use fire magic against her. Oh, uh, well, that looked fiery enough, but. She sure ended up taking some damage. Maybe it only looks like fire, or maybe it has a physical attack uh, component too. Who knows? Wick. And we wick back. Eh, let's hit both of these barrels. I can't not destroy them. You gotta understand. Hmm. Can we reach both? Eh, nah, probably not. Please don't block. Uh, okay, good. Alright. Oh, what? What's happening now? Uh, okay, that looked weird. That definitely was a fire attack. No, don't stand on the money. 
and stuff. Do you destroy barrels? Oh, I guess he does. I really should never use anyone but but Gans to to blow up things, objects. Okay, that only got me the herb. Hmm. 218 gold, not bad. Ah, come on. Hmm. I think my special move is not gonna hit both? No. That's unfortunate. Yeah, let's just blow this thing up. <laughs> sure. Oh, wait. That... Oh, it blew it! What the hell? That makes no sense. So not only no loot, but also damage? That's sucks. And the dragons. Almost destroyed. Huh. He has a roundhouse swing as well. Oh, here we go. <laughs> now we got the money. Spirit souls are still uncollected, though. Dragons have pretty sturdy defenses, I must say. Is there anything else to pick up? I thought that. Oh, 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 item. That didn't quite work. I tried to hit the button as, you know, as she was moving through the enemy. Or uh, through that. I don't know. Over the item, rather, is what I meant to say. Um, but I guess you can't really interact with things while your character is moving. It certainly looked like something you could interact with. But I suppose we're just... I suppose we are supposed to go through here. Really? Nothing? No items? Nothing to interact with? Fine. Let's try to lead back to the big cave from before. Like it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Chest we opened before. Hmm. Looks like there's gonna be a, a third separate area to this map. The one with the save point, which is which means that if we have another fight in between, maybe a little bit more exploration. Some like puzzles perhaps. That might make for a uh, Perfect episode length. We'll see. There is also another chest up there. Gunpowder, fire shy, but fire shy and power berry. Huh. Okay. Power berry raises a jack. No questions about who gets that. Uh, let's see here. Gunpowder. Yeah, we had that before. Gloves are nice. Uh, let me here. Oops. Oh. Fire shy lowers lowers enemies tolerance to fire. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I mean, why would I use fire spells against fire-resistant enemies in the first place? I guess Paulette Paulette's only attack spells are fire-based. So if I want to use her her magic against these enemies. I should probably low lower their fire resistance first, but... <sighs> I guess I might be a little bit overleveled at this point. So... I mean, but whatever the reason, it just never... or hardly ever feels necessary to use special skills. Sometimes it helps speed things up, you know. Get some weird birds in here that don't want to participate yet. Maybe we can... <coughs> Convinced them to join the fight. We're moving a bit closer. Oh wow. Just two shot that guy. Like it. That was a pretty good attack, or yeah, pretty good hit. Considering that he blocked. Mm, 
that's a kill. Wow, 80 damage. Brutal. Fire Bell. That probably increases fire defense if I had to make a guess. Uh, you know what? Let's try using this. Oh no, that does breach both. Do those other arrows have higher radius? Larger radius? I guess not. Hmm. Stealing? No, that's not quite long range enough. That's okay. Really, you're still not coming. Well, at least these guys are. What even are you? Great Phoenix? <laughs> I mean, you look a little bit, I don't know, pitiful, honestly. Not exactly like I usually imagine Phoenixes. It looks like they're completely equidistant from him. But still, it only hit Polet. Oh well, also a nice hit actually. Good damage. Oh, there's a. Okay, and I need to make a run for that box though. I would use Gans, but he's never gonna make it. Now, of course, we are running the risk of accidentally killing these things again. Yeah, like so. Please don't kill it. Okay. Thankfully... Oh! That was a one-shot that I didn't expect. There's an item in it. Sure enough. Steel Ball. Okay. Oh, I think Steel Ball is just an item to throw for damage. Okay, well, I mean, I guess it doesn't make her completely immune to fire damage. I love that is. But, I mean, one damage is pretty good. Okay, that's just another red charm. Sure, I mean, it's... I guess technically it's helpful. I don't know if it's really necessary. Okay, there's another box. Well then. Uh, Mara's movement radius is just not not good enough. Actually, Gansus isn't terrible, so... Okay. Yeah, you're not gonna reach anything. Might both die from counters? Ugh, okay. Please don't. Don't do it. No! God, there definitely was something good in that box. Ugh, I hate this, this mechanic so much. Why? I mean, sure, if I had looked around first, I, I would have spotted that that box earlier and would have made a run for it, but... Uh, and I also don't need to be focusing so much on counters, but there's a... even without all the counter boosting accessories, there's just a, a lower chance for that to, to happen and ruin your plans. So, still ends up being gambling. I don't know. It's, uh, it does add a certain dynamic. Give it that, but I still don't really like it. Hmm. I mean, over here should be the save point. Yeah, a 
That probably also means that it's a way forward. So let's go grab that chest. Huh, wait, there's another elevator. That's curious. Let's grab this first. Uh, that's a lot of money. Firebomb and a falcon statuette. Ooh, okay. Cover me intrigued. Also, I want to check. Wait. Oh, never mind. Experience now, weapon parts. Yeah, that's an accessory, of course. Falcon statuette for everyone. Render silence intention. Oh, okay, that's not what I thought at all. Eh, I don't know. So it's very nice. I mean, maybe I should at least check. If that maybe also increases regular defense, you know. I don't think it does. It does raise avoidance slightly, or although actually a bone armor might just lower avoidance to begin with. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, just to be safe, I'm gonna save first. Huh. I run the prison. Just in case that's actually the way to go. So easy to um, save over that slot. Wait, did I mean to do that? Maybe not. Whatever. Huh. I mean, this looks like the way forward. That also, you know, makes the most sense with the save point being right in along that path. So we're gonna see. Maybe this doesn't even do anything at all. Oh, there. Okay. Elevator is missing. Gotcha. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, right. Uh, perfect episode length and the, uh, the actual crater with Firestone Temple or a shrine is probably coming up very soon. So uh, we're going to check that out next time. As always, I thank you very much for watching. As, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.